Yes. Uh, we're on? Let's video? Yeah. Ah, okay. Hi. Um, I'm here with my Bayao. That's my brother-in-law, Raymond. He's the cameraman today. Hi, Raymond. Hey. Hello. <laughs> uh, so we're uh, here doing a low-budget documentary <laughs> on macro photography. Uh, we're going out here in Manila in the Philippines. Where are we, Raymond? We're in Santa Rosa Laguna. Uh, we're going in Santa Rosa Laguna in a field just looking for maybe some insects, some mm -hmm. frogs, some exactly. snakes for the macro photography. The, uh, can you see me? Yeah. Like, the equipment that we have here, the gear, it's a simple entry level uh, Canon D1000, a Tamron macro lens 90 millimeters and just the built-in flash with a puffer and uh, I've added here uh, a close-up filter with uh, 10 times uh, magnification just in case sometimes I use it for uh, higher magnification sometimes I don't it depends so anyway so now we're still in the car we'll just hit the field and then we'll we'll go on with when, when we find something and we'll let you know we are here, so we're going out now we're having a typhoon here actually very helpful the wind with the photo taking and uh, um, I'm quoting one of the best macro photographers in the world uh, uh, Thomas Shan that we cannot guarantee any good photos today you can go for weeks or a month even without having a good photo but we're going to try it's the field that we're going to try hopefully maybe if it's uh, having some undisturbed grass and uh, Raymond can I have the camera and Raymond here with me with his nice hat. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm trying to look for. Uh, can I can I have the camera for a moment? Um, I don't know if you can see this. Um, I didn't say that we are going to get it, but we are trying. Where is it? They're gone. Where? Oh no, they didn't. They're not. Wait. Uh, if you can see, we're looking for two grasshoppers. I think they're mating and they're very shy. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to adjust the camera here on the other side. Can you hold this? Maybe? They're very shy, so whenever we try to approach them, they're just... I don't know if you can see me. Wait, no, no, don't move anything, they'll just jump away. They're very shy. Whenever we try to come to them. Yeah, is it? Wait, 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 wait. Trying to... Ah, there, you can see them. Uh, but why the picture is like that? Too close. Too close? Okay, yeah. So things like that. Okay. Thank you.
more than what I was doing here. Um, after the rain, some of the spiders are uh, having their webs done amongst the grass, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I will try to. Oh, yeah. I think it's this one. Yeah, you can see the drops of water hanging on the web, but I don't think that you can actually see the spider. Maybe you can see it moving there, but if we get closer, it will be very blurred. So, but hopefully you can see this specific spider on some of my pictures that we'll show later. Good. Uh, one thing I forgot to say uh, that I'm using this. Um, it's, it's an angle viewfinder uh, so that you will not have to bend your neck when you're lying down in front of the uh, subject that you're trying to photograph. And the second thing I forgot to say is the settings that I usually use. And that's my son, by the way. Uh, the settings that I usually use, I usually work with the aperture priority actually, I don't go full manual. Usually I adjust the ISO to about 100, but this is not, sometimes it's not very useful because the, as, as, as lower as you get to, to the level of your subject, you need more ISO for, for faster shutter speed. So I just set the ISO to uh, automatic and I use the, the flash with my flash buffer as well to get a softer, uh, softer light. So, uh, and the aperture is usually in an average of 10 stops, maybe. So that's an, uh, uh, usually an, an AF or an aperture of 10, and ISO of uh, 100, or usually set on auto, the flash with your buffer or any softbox. And um, uh, I think that's uh, basically it. Usually the, the, the most useful uh, shutter speed, uh, maybe starting one over 50 and up, but of course if you can get one over 150 or one over 200 of a second, that would be excellent. Uh, these are the only things that I want to add. Thanks, Lemon. Uh, we on? Yeah, hi. Uh, so, I think we're uh, done for today. And, uh, we have a lot of rain, but hopefully uh, I've taken some nice shots and uh, maybe me and uh, Lemon can uh, later on embed it in the video. Can we do that, Lemon? Put yes. The photos that you take in the video? Yes, all of it. <laughs> okay. So say bye bye to Lemon. Our cameraman bye. today. Bye Lemon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Allah.